Uh, John Hilsen at the Wall Street Journal here on that aspect. It's all about what the consumer does, John, but what, what do you think happens? Uh, well, in terms of the consumer, you know, it's still a pretty strong environment. The unemployment rate is at its lowest level since 1969. Uh, household wealth has increased a lot because of the gains we've already seen in stocks and, and, uh, and home prices. Uh, incomes are rising. Confidence is high. So I don't think the blip that we've seen in the last uh, couple of week or two is really enough to knock consumers uh, off their game right now. Um I'm wondering if an, uh, an uptick in rates, if it were to continue, that's, I guess, what the president's most concerned about, that it will go unabated. The market might do that without the Federal Reserve doing a thing, right? Uh, absolutely. You know, you know, from the Fed's perspective, nothing has really changed in the last few weeks. Let's not forget the Fed started raising interest rates all the way back in 2015. So their increases are nothing new at all. You know, they announced that they were winding down their portfolio of mortgage and treasury bonds more than a year ago. So there's nothing new at all there either. I think one of the things that's been going on in the market is that investors started, started to realize, hey, this economy is doing pretty well. Inflation has gotten back to normal. Unemployment is back at these historic lows. Maybe the Fed is going to push rates up a little bit higher than we already thought. And so the market is catching up to what the, to what the Fed has been telegraphing for years, really. Um, the president singling out the Federal Reserve, you know, yeah. getting cute with rates, a loco. You've heard all of that. What did you make of it? Yeah. Well, uh, it reminded me a little bit of an Onion headline I read back in the, the crisis years. The Onion is that satirical uh, online news site uh, where they were talking about, you know, Bush calls for panic. I mean, it, it's usually at a moment like this, you usually have the president saying everyone should just calm down. The economy is in good shape. It's kind of ironic that the president is saying, oh, hey, there's a real big problem with the Fed right here. Um, you know, I think that the, the president is pointing a lot of attention at the Fed. But he's not really in much of a position to do anything. He can't fire the, the, the chairman of the Fed without cause. And he's actually appointed a number well, of I people. I was going to ask you about that. I know there's history for presidents not opting to reappoint a Fed chairman. Like this president, you know, yeah. uh, just did with, his, with the Federal Reserve predecessor. I am curious, though, what you make of the argument the president has that, you know, he can fire him, but he's not going to do that midterm. Can he? He's just not. He, no, he's, he's not in a, a position to fire him unless there is cause, some gross act of negligence. So he's not in a position to do that. And Powell is in the very early stages of a four year term. So he's not in a position to not reappoint him either. And what's so interesting is that the president has appointed a lot of other people to the Fed who look like they're going to be pretty loyal to, to Powell. So I think the Fed is going to keep doing what it thinks it should do based on the inflation backdrop and the economic backdrop. And that probably means some more interest rate increases. The other thing I'd say is what I find kind of puzzling about what's going on right now is that the inflation numbers, and we just saw more of them today, have softened a little bit in the last couple of months. So the Fed has less reason to be raising interest rates right now than it did you know, maybe a month or two ago. The inflation backdrop has improved a little bit. So it's kind of funny to me that the bond market is getting worried about the Fed at a time when the Fed is probably a little less worried about the inflation environment than it might have been a, a month ago. But, John, you know how people are going to read that. If the Fed does slow its interest rate hiking, um, people are going to interpret that, that it was cowed by the president. Um, you could yeah. raise rate reasons enough that you just did that it wouldn't be for that reason. But that's what I mean by putting Jerome Powell, uh, you know, in a can't win situation, you know. Yeah. And, you know, what Powell is going to say and what he has said is he's just going to make the best call that he can, like an umpire at a baseball game. And he's not going to pay attention to the politics. You know, the, the Fed is going to raise interest rates again in, in December in all likelihood. I don't think we're going to know until sometime early next year, probably around March, if the Fed is close to stopping. So this is going to be a debate right. we're going to be having for a few more months. Thank you, my friend. Always good chatting.